it. What even is it? It's not sturdy at all. Hang and on. then my turn. Let me move this to. Oh. Oh. Did you nearly just die? I nearly just died again. Stop trying to die. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to stop. Dad, this has 35%. <coughs> <coughs> Is this where level? That's the problem with our backyard. Well, I'm trying to hold on to this so it gives me some balance. Dominic, you need to step away. All right, Annabelle, hand me the um. It's a chalk line, but I'm going to use it as a plumb bob. What's, what even is a plumb bob? I will explain it to you while I'm doing this, and hopefully not dying. A plumb bob level. Do you know what level means? Level. 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 Yes, I know what level means. Okay. You know what perpendicular means? Perpendicular. Don't ever stand on a ladder like this. Okay. No, I do not know what perpendicular means. I'm standing away. Um, do you know what a right angle means? Yes, I know what a right angle is. Okay. It's an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Okay, so if the bottom of that angle was level, and perpendicular would be straight up and down, correct? Yes. So, if you hang a plumb bob, it's 90 degrees to what level is. So a plumb bob, gravity's going to pull it straight down. So, a plumb bob, I'm going to let this go. Don't mess with this, Dominic. Because we know the cable ride, if we go up or down with it, it's going to stay pretty much the same. We might make it higher on one end or lower to make it go faster or slower, but the trees are always going to be in the same line. Well, mostly. There might be breeze or whatever, but for the most part, they're not going to vary that much. So, this is a chalk line for making straight lines, but you can also use it as a plumb. Which basically means you let it hang and as long as the wind isn't blowing it or it's not swinging or anything it will show plumb which basically means straight up and down so i could have eyeballed it and said oh yeah directly underneath this cable is right here but if you use this plumb look at it get a close-up on it through the fence get the lens right at the fence or like that it's spinning a little bit because the string's unwinding but for the most part right there is directly under the cable ride. Oh, I'm putting it sideways a bit. Okay, so what I want to do, our porch is going to be eight feet and our treehouse is going to be eight feet. But I'm thinking four feet of the porch will probably be covered by roof. And then four feet of the porch will be the launching and landing zone. Launching so and landing zone. If you had two feet. The GoPro's at 29%, just to let okay. you know. Two feet would be right there. Well, that would be four feet wide. So two feet over there. So if I put the corner right here, that would be two feet away from the center of the cable ride. So I think this is where the corner is going to go. And I'm thinking, I was going to make it in an angle or something, but I'm thinking I'll probably just do right even with the fence, about two feet away from the fence. So, two feet will be right there. And that's just eyeballing. I was going to say two feet away from the fence, but that's... Eh, a little bit more. That'll give us a, a bit more room. So, that will be where we put our first hole. And then the next one will be eight feet from there and eight feet from there. So now I've got to unhook this from the cable rod. So if you would please swing the swing back up this way. Okay. To give me something to hold on. Don't to. stand on ladders like this, kids. Yeah. That would be very dangerous. All right, swing me this swing so I can hold on to it.
I'm gonna do it again. So do I. Let me go first. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Get me. No, no.